The natural beauty of Palau is, is amazing. We saw turtles, we saw coral reefs, we went kayaking in pristine natural environments. So it, it really is a, an amazing place to go. And I guess what they're trying to do with you know, the ID program is try and safeguard that. Of course, our strengths are we have a beautiful environment. And that uh, helps us in the marine science exploration, the environmental fields, we get a lot of recognition for that. But that also translates into tourism. Right. It also translates into a fisheries industry and aquaculture industry, how to develop that, use it sustainably. But we've learned from COVID that that's not enough. Like mostly hotels were closed, completely no tourists. So when we closed our borders because of the pandemic, we basically lost our economy. Uh, we also borrowed money to keep people comfortable uh, during this period of such unrest, you know. Yeah. The other huge advantage that Palau has is it's small, it's an independent country. Yep. We were able to maybe adapt and do things that larger countries may take more time to do. One of the areas that we've seen that has potential is the digital space, yep. is the financial space. How to create an environment that attracts entrepreneurs, attracts new types of businesses that can really help improve the standard of living of Palauan people. So what are the options? We do have very fast internet here. It, it's the killer of distance, right? Connecting Palau to the world. We're gonna have fiber to the home all around Palau. That should just open up that space. It's creating opportunities for Palauans. To make them live the Palauan dream. That's, that's always been our, our motivation. So why not live in paradise and do your work? <laughs>